Okay, everybody, it is cabin day. We are, my mom and I are going up to the cabin today. Gonna spend a couple days up there, kind of open it up, get it cleaned up, and just start this adventure. So, uh, and get it ready for the family to come up. So, we're gonna be taking you along and just showing you um, parts and, you know, getting some cleaning motivation, motivation and just getting it going. So, I'm excited, we're all packed up, the dogs are ready, been to the vet, and we're gonna get going. <laughs> this is the little area that is carved out for the pups. <laughs> so we have, we are filled to the brim. We made it up here you know there's just so many mixed emotions up here but I'm um, super excited to be back up here and just enjoy this family space um, there's still so much work to be done so that's kind of exciting and and you know just so much ahead so I think that's exciting but this is this is our cabin, and uh, look at the trees. Aren't they just gorgeous? It's just such, uh, you know, serenity back here and everything. So there's, again, there's lots of stuff that needs to be fixed or finished. But this is our patio, back patio. And then this is just a view from this side. One of my favorite parts of this is this, this is the front um, patio. The fireplace is on the inside. We just did the um, brick here to match these new columns. But I just love the, the, you know, the idea of sitting out and watching the kids play or just watching the animals or whatever, you know what I mean, on here in this front porch. So that is just one of my favorite spots. So these are acre lots. This house, this cabin here is, you know, kind of a little closer on this side. But this is kind of the outside. This is another patio that we, or little deck seating area that we had created with a cover and a couple chairs and a little table. So we do have neighbors. They are acre lots, but we do have neighbors. And then this is the back of the house where we kind of created a fenced in dog area so the dogs can you know, go outside, we can let them out the laundry room and they've got a little place to go and we don't have to worry about them. So lighting isn't so great in here right now. I mean, it's okay, but this is that little patio off to the side with the French doors. And um, this is the front door. So we, as we just came in, so we've got a lot of stuff that we brought up um, kind of decor we're trying to decide what we want to use this is furniture that was left up here we're not sure how this is all going to work yet but we're just taking a look got this beautiful wood wall the fireplace this is original fireplace this this cabin was built back in the 30s the original uh, this like this room and and kitchen area was the original cabin so that is original and actual, like real stone, not uh, the manufactured stone. So um, I'm gonna do a little D DIY on that. This is the little decor that I have brought up from Hobby Lobby, the cute little pumpkins. I'm just trying to kind of see if I like that in that area, so I haven't taken it out of the box. But I went ahead and did, this is just the a cheaper garland, and then I just bought little, um, uh, twigs or you know things that I could stick in just to make it a little bit a little bit nicer a little fuller so yeah so this is kind of the family room 
We've got the wood wall again, and then it just walks into the kitchen. This was all reworked. Okay, so this was all a brand new kitchen put in. I've got a lot of cleanup to do. And a little bar area. And this is another door out to the front front patio. So yeah, so then we've just got, this is towards the back of the house. This is the laundry room, mud room. Got nice cabinets that I built, had built in here just for storage. So I'm going to be working on, you know, some of this stuff. Here's a pantry we built in. Need to work on this. So, yeah. Got lots of fun little projects started. We're going to be starting. One of the first places I want to start and completely just clean and organize. I'm not going to get everything set up this weekend. We don't even have all the furniture. So, But one of the things I want to do is set up, clean out really good the fridge and freezer. You see down here, it just really needs to be cleaned out before, you know, before we put new food in here and just get, um, you know, the pantry organized and just, you know, I got some art supplies for the little ones and just kind of get organization set and I bought I brought up a bunch of um, that kind of stuff um, from home so that's going to be my first project Okay, so I got the fridge all cleaned out. And, you know, I just went ahead and got drinks that everybody, you know, uses or likes. Just some bread. We had some leftover. We made breakfast for, for dinner. Um, and just my iced coffee and all waters. And then, you know, I always like to have my cheese and I'll do like meats over here. And I always, one of my things for the for the refrigerator is to put your paper towels down because that way if you have meat, if you have meats or something like that that could drip, you always want to put it at the bottom of the fridge for one thing and then put the paper towel so if it drips, that way you can just clean up the paper towels and it's not as much of a mess. And then the cheese separate. And then over here we'll have condiments and stuff like that, but I do the same in case like liquid comes out of the um, bottles we have the paper towels um, to clean up the mess so at least it's you know it's set up for right now it could change you know when we get everybody up here but at least we got it cleaned out and it's ready and to then use. I just cleaned out you know the freezer really good it sure I realize how nice it is to have my dice and to be able to vacuum out the crumbs <laughs> when I usually do at home but um and which I did buy online a about $150 um, vacuum cordless vacuum that I'm going to try and let you know, guys know how it works um, for up here but just have some ice and ice cream but it's all cleaned ready this is kind of nice it has a nice little shelf here for for meats or whatever so ready to go okay, this is kind of the state of what's happening we're just kind of going through drawer by drawer and cabinet and washing, you know, all the, the dishes and, and all that kind of stuff. We've got more loads to go in here. Kind of revamping kind of where things make sense. So here's down underneath the, um, the sink, did the fridge. Just trying to kind of like items going together, figuring out what's the best ways got this cabinet and all these drawers and then all stuff that like is bad and then 
going through and getting so my pantry I'll set my pantry up so this is kind of the in the middle part of trying to set this kitchen up and have it be organized okay lighting's not great in here but this is the laundry room and you know like I talked about we've got extra storage this is the pantry this is kind of what it's the state it's in right now and then down here and I'm just gonna go in and just clean it all up and I've got all kinds of organization bins I've already set up and we're gonna get this looking good okay so I've got as best as I can do we already have a problem with the washing machine so I've got somebody coming out to take a look at that but this is how the pantry turned out okay so up here I've just got all of the paper products paper cut or you know solo cups and that kind of stuff just up high we don't need it all the time so put that up high uh, lots of extra napkins um, this is gonna be for medicines it's, it's just got some emergency in it right now this is extra baking stock up then down here I got these cute little glass jars and it's hard to see but um, they've got um, cute little labels on them and stuff for all baking uh, sugar flour chocolate chips brown sugar we need to get some pancake mix cereal some treats and then down here is more like dinners, pasta, soups, breadcrumbs, stuff that we, you know, cook often when we're all together. And then down here, I wanted to make it accessible for the little ones to get, you know, some chips and some snacks, um, extra water, their bars, hot cocoa, popcorn, all that kind of fun stuff. So everything's labeled, and I think it turned out super cute and it's functional and you know we can change it as we need to we can change it so I hung this cute I love these command strips you can get them at Target Walmart and it just holds so nicely just because we need a broom uh, right here off you know off of the main area because we just get a lot of bugs and stuff from outside um, but anyhow I went ahead and started trying to organize up here just with laundry um, did the back stock here of all of you know the paper goods um, I still need to get some bins so I just put extra you know we'll have a bin for like toilet or um, toothpaste and just you know miscellaneous stuff candles I need to get some kind of a toolkit and have all tools and that kind of stuff up there and extra cleaning supplies up high out of the kids reach um, we've got um, extra flashlights and whatnot and then I just went ahead and used this for like that's our barbecue stuff crock pot a little indoor grill if we've got anything else we'll you know put here but just for like extra appliances so yeah and this is a great little area for the dogs it's all fenced in so I can just leave the door open for them and they come out and just do their thing but this is the back side of the property it's just beautiful weather up here so I'm just gonna do some final cleanup and then we're gonna head home like I was saying we have a problem with the washing machine I'm trying to get somebody out right now but you know so I couldn't do the laundry but we've got a little laundry basket here cute sign I got that at home go or no Hobby Lobby with um, quite a while ago and this cute little coat rack so it's kind of our mud room laundry room utility closet <laughs> everything so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff cleaned up and we'll be on our way
I've got stuff here that we can, you know, kind of choose from. I brought a few things up for fall that, you know, just to, I just, and I'm not sure about this one, that's why I haven't taken the wrapper off, but, you know, I think I just wanted to open it up, you know, make it a little homey and cozy, and, you know, oh, I gotta go through and take the tags off. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? But, um, you know, just, we still have furniture that's gonna come up, we're getting a new sofa, we're recovering the chairs, um, there's a different rug that's gonna be going here. But, you know, just brought, you know, just brought some things up just to make it more cozy, more comfortable for our family. You know, I went ahead and got the refrigerator all, you know, set up, cleaned real good, organized the way we're used to. And that's what I just did. I just went through each of the cabinets and just cleaned out you know, and cleaned them really good, reorganized, you know, just so there's some kind of rhythm to everything. But just, that was kind of my goal, was to set up the kitchen and set up the laundry room and, you know, just, you know, we've got more decor. We're gonna be taking stuff down, but I just, we wanted to go ahead and decorate this place as a family you know, together, and this is stuff that's going home, and then this is just stuff that is gonna be used, but, you know, not sure where. So, after the, probably the next time, when we get everything set up, I will do a home tour, and uh, show you guys everything, but it's just gorgeous up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and close it out, and just thank you so much for watching, and going on this adventure with us and um, I'm sure you will have lots more videos from up here but I'm gonna go ahead and close this, close this out and show you our front yard and just thank you so much for watching and please make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up that helps me out so much have a great day bye